Hello and welcome. A lot of excitement here at Stamford Bridge because it's a London derby that we have to bring you, namely Chelsea against West Ham. My name is Derek Ray and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former West Ham player Stuart Robson. Stuart, prospects for this game, what do you think? Well, from a West Ham point of view, Derek, they're going to have to get their tactics absolutely right. If they play well, close the ball down and stop Chelsea playing, this could be a really tight game. Otherwise, Chelsea will dominate. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Jorginho plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And the starting lineup for West Ham United. Well, although we have it down as a 4 5 1, it's actually more likely to be a 4 2 3 1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. We're ready for what we hope will be a tremendous match. And it's West Ham United with a kickoff. Well, the keeper is happy. The ball was there. to take on the shot oh that is a majestic goal well I have to say this is a really good goal just watch his technique here he just hits through the back of the ball with such power there's no stopping that encouraging move from West Ham Antonio they just couldn't stay in front and now this match is all square well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Lanzini, he cuts it back, and he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind. It's a simple finish for him. Havertz. And it goes! He's made it a brace for himself! Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. From the goalkeeper. It's there for him. Oh, there it is! The mistake punished to the maximum. And the goalkeeper left distraught. Huge error. Well, here we can see it again, and it doesn't get any better, does it? That's just sloppy from the goalkeeper. That's a terrible goal to give away. Oh, good play, this. Lanzini. That is not going to do. Well wide of the target. Well, the ball is moving once more. Not enough went to plan for Chelsea in the first half. Can they address what didn't go right? And making the move to the inside. Oh, a great chance it was. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Cross towards that far post. Well, it's gone in. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. He drives it in. Well, it's a rocket save from the keeper. Pablo Fornals. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Away in this game. And it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, here it is again. It's a well-delivered ball into the box. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Additional minutes at the end here. This could be the equaliser. But no, when your goalkeeper comes up with a save like that late in the game, you have cause to be thankful. So the final whistle, and that's not how Chelsea fans were scripting it in their mind.